Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be chatting around anger. We're going to be talking about contributive parts of anger, non-contributive parts of anger, and then releasing those non-contributive parts. Now, this is one of the challenges with emotions. If there's a contributive part and a non-contributive part, and you're trying to release all anger, like you might have been told in certain religions, New Age spirituality, um, anything on your spiritual path, oftentimes people say that anger is a base emotion, that anger is the least uh, of all the emotions, and that you should never be angry. That really messes up your spiritual path. Well, what messes up your spiritual path even more is denying your authentic emotions. Now, this is one of the challenges with anger. Um, anger originally has this, this aspect of being a contribution. It can give you energy to do things that you might not otherwise do. Um, it gets you to make a, a change in your life when previously you're going, you know, it's okay, I can handle it. But then when you get really angry about it, it gives you those, that energy to take that step. That's the contributive part of anger. And any kind of emotion you have, there's probably a contributive and a non-contributive part. The challenge with anger is that contributive part can so easily get pushed into being non-contributive. So if you followed me for any amount of time, you know that um, any emotion you feel, for any emotion you feel that energetically tunes you in to other people around you that are feeling the same emotion. And when I'm saying other people around you, it's people that are nearby, in your city, state, or even in the world. And just think about how much anger there is in the world. Ugh, yikes. Yeah, there's a lot of energy on that because there's so much anger. So if you get angry about something, that you energetically tuning in the radio station and sensing all those other anger that's out there, and that other anger amplifies your authentic anger and then pushes you into a place where anger isn't a contribution. You know, you've all been there where um, you're having a situation, you're getting really angry, and then you say something you later regret. Whoa, yeah. So all the times you got angry and then said something that you later regretted. Whoa, whoa. do you choose to release, let go, and or allow all that to be removed from your reality now? Ah, <sighs> yes, I choose that. Whoosh, out, 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 out. Banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish. Spanish vanquish. And so that's the trick. And um, for so many times when you start feeling that anger come up, um, there's two main tricks. One is just to go, is just to ask how much of this is authentically your anger and how much is from someone else? Whoa, yikes. Um, and that just gives you an idea because it's not like you're not supposed to be angry, but you only want to feel your authentic emotions and those emotions that are going to be a contribution to you. So if you're angry, you have that energy that you can start doing something with, but then that often turns into the non-contributive part. Um, and the non-contributive part is when you move out of having choice. So anytime you're feeling anger and you feel like you don't have a choice, like you just want to lash out um, or you just say something, whoa, yeah, without thinking about it, that's when you've stepped into the non-contributive part because you always want to be in full choice. You want to have the choice to go, oh, do you choose to say this in this moment? Do you choose to pause? And that's another trick that um, even people in uh, psychology and psychology will say is anytime that you're really angry, you want to pause. Because a lot of times it's really easy for that anger to get amplified. Anger is one of those emotions that the more you think about it, the angrier you get. And you've probably had that experience yourself when you're going, gosh, I'm kind of upset about that. And then the more you think about it, you go, oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened. I can't believe that happened. Woo. And then pretty soon you're about ready to explode at somebody. Ooh. So all the non-contributive anger that you have, ugh, or of all the anger you have, how much is contributive? How much is non-contributive? And I think you can feel that there's a lot larger on the non-contributive part. And if you try to remove the, something that's a contribution to you, it won't work. And that's why a lot of times when you're really angry, you can't just release all of it. But what you want to do is release the part that's not a contribution to you. So of the anger you have, do you choose to release and let go of the non-contributed part or as much of the non-contributed part as you can here right now? Ah, <sighs> Yes, I choose that. And then I'm going to help you remove that, remove that, remove that. Ooh, awesome. Yeah, and then anything preventing you from staying in your authentic emotions, um, whether that's authentic anger, authentic happiness, anything preventing you from staying in your authentic emotions, 
Do you choose to release, let go, and remove that from your reality now? Ah, yes, I choose that. Whoosh, out, 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 out. Spanish vanquish, Spanish vanquish, Spanish vanquish. Yeah, and I really just touched the surface around the contributive parts and non-contributive parts about anger. I'm going to be going much deeper into this um, into, in my weekly energetic membership group where we talk about all sorts of energetic uh, topics and then change and shift so you can have lots of release on those. So I'm Max Riggs, Energetic Awareness Explorer and your energetic guide. And if you have any questions on what we covered in today's uh, video or you need any personal help moving through a challenge, leave me a comment below or send me an email. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.